is sporting a uh, Star City Games hoodie. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people are. Dude, they, yeah. they look so nice now. Dude, the, I'm so glad that they're on the uh, the the black with the cool color logo. Yeah, not only are they really nice, they're they're really really comfortable. <laughs> they really absolutely. are. Absolutely. So, AJ wears this like every day. Dude, it's a good yeah. hoodie. AJ, so how often do you wear your hoodie? We have. Uh, it looks like they're resolving their mulligans right now. Yeah. Um, no. I think, uh, who's on the play? Is it John? I'm not sure. Maybe we could switch and Dude, find I out. Sword of War and Peace has really come out. Have you noticed that? Like, yeah. you know, Sword of Peace and Famine was all the talk before, but it yeah, that like, died down so quick. It seems like now that Sword of War and Peace is out, the people lean a little bit towards it. So yeah. McDarby leads off with Seacrum Coast to Ponder. Okay. What's he going to be looking to set up here since he doesn't have the turn one Delver? Yeah, well, he probably wants to set up maybe a, a turn two Delver, or he wants to, you know, make sure he has a mana leak into a Geist. There's also Stalker, so you can put a piece yeah, of equipment. Yeah, yeah, he could have Stalker. Who's the beat down here? I think John's definitely the beat down. You think he is? Yeah, I actually think I think John is going to win. I, I I think the human is a his favorite matchup. Uh, but David has a pretty good hand. He's got the Stalker on turn two, and he's got a gut shot uh, in response to this. On the pier? Yep. Right. So I actually think I think David is actually the beat down um, because he can't really go big at all. Like he can't really take control in any meaningful way. Okay. If the game goes long, John's cards are going to overpower David. You know, like he's he can lock up the game with cards like Gideon's Law Keeper and the Fiend Hunter and the uh, and you know just get bigger guys from out of the pure. Yeah. He can he can actually take control of a game whereas David all he can really do is try to tempo John out. Okay. You know, and yeah, that's not no, just, yeah, yeah, that's not a good point. Yeah, David needs like a vapor snag right here. Geist of St. Traff, so big. All right, and he There's has it. Snag. Wow, yeah. So David's just going, yeah. These crazy trial creatures are yeah. so good. So good in this matchup, you yeah, know. Because John play, doesn't have any way to interact with him. Yeah, he's going to play Delver. And, uh, yeah, John needs to, John needs something really good here. I feel like, I feel like he needs like. He, well, first he needs a Geist just yeah. to, he needs a blue mana so that he can drop a Geist. Yeah. But you know what I actually saw? I actually saw he, he does have a, uh, a sword in his hand. So. Oh, so if, if somehow, if all, you know, if he gets a chance, he might just sneak one, you know, drop the sword on the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. Back yeah. Game, but like, yeah, it's not going to happen. Because he's gonna, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's just dead next turn. That's like insane. Look at these Delver decks. You don't realize how much they beat down, but yeah. they don't really tempo you out. Yeah. There's like not a card John could draw in his, in his main deck for him to, yeah. He packs it in. Yeah, wow. Real quick. Was that turn six? Dude, it wasn't even four minutes went by. No, it's turn six kill yeah. out of the blue white deck. That's what These Delver decks are, they, they are capable of some really yeah. aggressive draws. He didn't even flip a Delver that game. Yeah, he didn't have to. So, what do we got coming in on the sideboard out of McDarby's Delver deck? All right, well, he's going to bring in. Uh, well, John is definitely going to bring in timely reinforcements. Oh, this is out of the human deck. Okay, yeah. out of the human deck, they're going to have timely reinforcements. And I think they're going to bring in probably the. Two dismembers? What do you think about the dismembers in this matchup? Eh. I mean, it's okay. I think Divine Offering might be a little bit better because, like, dismember is not good against anything except for the Delver. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You don't want to dismember a Snapcaster, and it doesn't even work on the Geist or the Stalker. Yeah. And you don't want it against Haunting or Merlin Haunt. Yeah. But Divine Offering could actually hit a sword, which is one of the, the you know, the key key parts of the matchup. Yeah, or a, uh, a Ratchet Bomb if. If, Dar if uh, McDarby decides to bring a Ratchet Bomb? Yeah, see, I think McDarby doesn't want Ratchet Bomb. I think he wants to stay aggressive. Okay. Like, he might, I mean, maybe it's right just to destroy under the peers and stuff, but I got a feeling that more likely he's going to want to just be very tempo-oriented. Yeah. And play, like, he, he's going to want a card like um, Oblivion Ring, okay. just a clear blocker. Yeah. Um, he might want Revoke Existence as a nice, cheap tempo answer to uh, Oblivion Ring or Honor the Pure. And, and, and he'll probably bring in both the Mental Missteps. See, I don't know. How many one-drops is John going to have? I mean, he had, I guess Doom Traveler Champion Gideon's Law Keeper is a fair number. Yeah. It might be worth it, but you don't want to dilute your deck with too much reactive stuff. You've got to stay ahead of him. Hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he yeah. has to, like, it might just be the mental misstep is better than Gutshot, but I'm not, I'm not Can't sure. Can't, like, Darby cut all his Cataxian probes or does not need it for, like, the cycle effect? Oh, well, you can cut some, but I, I they're, they're, they are good. Like, you want to make sure your Delver actually flips, but if you're bringing in more spells... You know, like the the Gitaxian probe is much worse here because the life loss actually yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah, really. And does. knowing the hand of the information yeah. doesn't really matter. Yeah. Hmm. So I could see cutting some Gitaxian probes, but it's not like these cyber cards are going to be that amazing right. for them. So, so let's try to figure it out. Maybe two mental missteps, one oblivion ring. Yeah. And one revoke. 
So those four cars? Yeah, I can see that. For maybe a couple of probes. Maybe like all his probes, no? Maybe just the probes. Yeah. I can see it. I mean, he doesn't want to cut anything else, really, you know? Like, what do you think about Mana League versus the Humans deck? It's not great, but it works better in his deck because he can put down something aggressive. Yeah. And if he ever gets ahead of him, Mana League's a time walk. Yeah, exactly. So you for sure keep it. And, and he needs to really stop, like, the uh, the heroes. Ah, uh, you want to. Yeah. yeah. I mean. So, and for John, he'll probably... Maybe he'll just, like, trim a... Like, like do some trimming, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I mean, it's more like, I think it's, 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 it's tough because his main deck is supposed to already be good in this matchup. Yeah, exactly. But maybe, I mean, does he, is there any chance he cuts out of the pier? Because Honor of the Pier is pretty bad against Vapor Snag, yeah, it, it really like, is, having all yeah. the tempo plays. Yeah. I could see him trimming Honor of the Pier a little bit, but he doesn't really have a lot he wants to bring in. I mean, maybe timely reinforcements. Yeah. What do you think about uh, Grand Abolisher? It's fine. Like, it's the fact that it locks out Mana Leak and reduces surprises. Yeah. And it's actually cheap, you know? Like, I think Grand Abolisher is fine. You want to stay fast because these stealth tracks are capable of tempering them out so quickly. I think Honor of the Pure is the one I would look to cut. Do you think Mirror Crusader is just not good enough? No, Mirror Crusader is good. You for sure keep it. The fact that it, like, Mirror Crusader can actually win a game, you know? Like, he doesn't have a ton of removal for it. But, I mean, if he wants to bring in timely reinforcements, which do you think he does? Yeah. Okay. And he Maybe. Wants to, yeah, yeah. And he amazing. wants to bring in Divine Offering. That's five already. Maybe, I, I don't know. He'll, he'll probably want to bring in maybe Phyrexian Metamorph. No, no. I don't, no? Think you're gonna, no, I don't think he's going to want Metamorph. It's just too bad, you think? Yeah, yeah. I also think he can cut Oblivion Ring. Cut Oblivion Ring. Yeah, I don't think okay. Oblivion Ring's any good in this matchup. Okay. I and mean, it's not the worst, but it's not good. Like, you don't want to have a ton of, you know, sketchy removal spells that don't actually stop hexproof creatures. Yeah. Especially since O-Ring is going to be more vulnerable to cards like Revoke Existence and O-Ring yeah. out, of, out of the Darby cyborg. Yeah, the Metamorph is just kind of slightly nice just because you know your opponent's also going to have artifacts you can copy. Yeah, but you're losing value each time because it costs three mana and two life, and well, it it's could reactive. Cost, cost four, but yeah, I understand what you're saying here. All right, All right. so it looks like uh, McDarby is taking a trip to Paris. Sure. Really, John wants to just curve out. You know, like last game, he was a little bit stunted by not having blue mana, so that he couldn't deal with the Geist. Yeah. Geist can lead to so many blowouts in this matchup. Yeah, an early Geist is definitely, uh, could definitely be dangerous on, on both sides. Somebody said we should give Reed and Orin Beasley a feature match. Reed's the, uh, the good twin. We say that Reed and Orin, like, kind of look like each other. Just, just Orin has a goatee. But unfortunately, Reed's not here. He's playing the uh, the Moto PPQs. He's a, he's a big fan of Modern. But Orin is here, and I think Orin's 4 now. So that's good. All right, so David is yeah. mulliganing. David's up a game, so. Now you said you, you, you're you a fan of these uh, blue white, or these white-blue human decks in general, right? Yeah. But like, I would just approach the matchup differently. How would you approach the matchup? Just like, I would bring in I don't think the Mirror Crusader is that good versus the Delver decks. Like, I don't care about beating them quick. I just want to, like, kind of control the game and, like, Hero, Hero does that job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, as, as long as I'm surviving and, I don't know, it's, that's just, like, my outlook on it. All right, so anyway, he goes turn one, Seachrome Coast, and a Doom Traveler. So, McDarby has a gut shot in his hand, but this is one of those games where mental misstep would have actually been significantly better. Yeah. Uh, and uh, McDarby plays a Delver on turn one. So there's a second land, and I feel like this must be like honor. Yep. It is. All right. He's got a he's got a gut shot in response for sure, just because. Well, no, no, no. Why, why? Now, now Runyon has a two-two flyer. Yeah. That's gonna stop the Delver. Yeah, sure, but I mean, what's the gut shot? Yeah, I guess if David has a vapor snag, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, because because once honor comes down, gut shots does nothing. Does nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's why gut shot isn't that great. Um, I mean, I, I mean, think it's a little oh, look. Oh, so, right so he left in the probes too. Wow, McDarby just dealt him, dealt him off four points of damage, which is like really. Well, he's the beatdown. So I mean, remember, it's not. It's yeah. not like he's definitely. He has to be the aggressor. Oh, look, is that a dismember or no? It but, looks like it was a dismember. Yeah. So even though this member doesn't kill that much, I guess he really wants to, you know, be able to kill a Delver or a Snapcaster and stop it from, you know, getting inflicted. That, that is yeah. the least value. Yeah. Dismembering a Snapcaster? Yeah, it's pretty bad, but I mean. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Alright. 
And that's got, I, I, man. So Runyon with a Seacrum Coast of yeah. the Plains. He's actually got Blue Man this time. He's got a Spirit Token, which currently at 2 2 due to Honor of the Pure. Yep. And, and he decides it's time to beat down. Yeah, McDarby's down to 14. Uh, so McDarby, yeah, built himself four points, like I said. McDarby, meanwhile, with a Glacial Fortress, a Seacomb Coast, oh, wow. and a Delver. Yeah. Again, the Delver does not flip. Yeah. McDarby drawing Glacial Fortress after Glacial Fortress. So it looks like McDarby might have a sword in his hand. Or is that a Ratchet Bomb? It does look like a Ratchet it Bomb. It does, right, yeah. So. Yeah, I, I guess maybe they sideboarded. Very defensively. Yeah, yeah. I feel like both these guys did, so. And it, it, it might be correct. But, I mean, McDarby can't really do anything with the Delver yet. He well, was, yeah, until it flips, it's yeah. definitely just a Merfolk of the Pearl Shrine. Yeah. So, and, and most likly, end of turn, John's just going to make a 2-2 uh, a Spirit Token from the uh, Mulan Haunt. Mulan Haunt, when, I mean, it's good, obviously, on its own, but when you combine it with either Honor the Pure or Equipment, the creatures are just such bigger threats. Yeah. The power of doubling. Do you think, yeah, and I guess McDarby's mana didn't really develop too well this game because he had to play back-to-back -back coming to play tap lanes. He has come out glacially slow. Ooh, I like that. I like the uh, the reference there. I think he's probably going to play Stalker. All right, so McDarby plays Stalker, and he's just going to pass the turn. Yeah, he can't swing because the, uh, the token would block. Yeah. And... We see the intensity, John Runyon. Yeah. Debating his options. He elects not to make a token. Really? Interesting. Wait. Bold. Is it because he's going to cast a timely reinforcement? Could be. That would be the only reason in my head why he wouldn't do that. It's a good play if he has it. Yeah, let, 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 let's see if that's the... He does. Uh, good read. Yeah. All right. So John, uh, John makes the correct play. And although he doesn't gain the sixth life, he gets...